Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so the sell-off or the selling of the metals continues to happen. And this is something that has been, um, I've been screaming to the mountaintops this for quite some time now to not FOMO into the markets. And for you guys who have been watching me for the last uh, for the last few months at least, you've been, oh, I've been screaming, don't FOMO, don't FOMO, don't FOMO, don't FOMO, wait for a good time to get into the markets, okay? And that's exactly what we're looking at here right now. We're looking at gold, all right? So this is silver actually. Silver's having a bit of a, a bit of a pullback. Probably gonna be a short-term pullback, so um, I don't expect it to be a, a massive, completely reverse of the overall upward trend, probably just a small short-term pullback. But that's exactly what we're expecting through there. Uh, looking at through to through to the actual gold as well too. We got a breaking of this neckline, so we've got a shoulder, head, shoulder. Really interesting to see, to see whether we do get a bit of follow through or not. Is it going to be some sort of false breakout? Do we get back above this trend line or do we continue down through to here? If we continue down, it's probably going to be short-lived anyway. Looking on through to now the SILJ, again, nice little lower high. Breaking of the previous lows now, so we're getting that sell off through there. Expect more downside to come with this with the with the miners, but uh, but once again the selling is probably going to be short lived. Move through, moving through to S I L, same sort of thing as well too. And then looking at the other markets such as the G D X J, um, it made a lower low, lower high, breaking of the low. So uh, again, short term moving on the downside, but that long term chart really hasn't changed around. So. This pullback we're getting here on, uh, on this daily chart is is probably likely to be short-lived. We look at this weekly chart here, we have this run up, we're getting this pullback through here right now. So expect the buyers to come in pretty soon. Even if we do get a bit more of a selling period, expect the buyers to come in pretty soon uh, with that. And then looking at the GDX through there. So, uh, and same thing for the GDX, right? We had this low, lower low, and a breaking of the lower high, and now breaking of the low. Selling, continue to sell, in, in the markets. Uh, if you guys remember, I was saying that last week that we did get this lower low, so we could be forming some sort of lower high here. It's exactly what happened. Um, I didn't know it was gonna happen, but we could that there was a potential for that to happening in the market. But once again, looking at that weekly chart as well too for the metals, silver and gold, so on and so forth, this pullback here is probably gonna be short-lived, but this is just doing what the market likes to do, and that's creating a bit of a shake and bake. We still probably could get a bit more short-term on the downside, but over the next few weeks, even if we do get a bit more downside, the buyers are probably like to scoop back in and then continue this move um, moving up through there. So that's what I see through there, guys. Um, you know, stay, stay smart with these markets, be patient, and don't FOMO into these markets.